hi today we are going to see one more topic from informatica that is dynamic lookup cache in lookup transformation there are several caches available we have seen persistent cache and static cache now we are going to see the dynamic lookup cache caching means what happens in informatica if you are using lookup transformation in the mapping lookup transformations lookup table data will be captured from the informatica uh, sorry the, the database server the data will be copied from the, uh, the, the database server to the informatica server it will be kept in the memory until the session completes once we start the session the data is cached and once the session completes the data is released uh, data is erased and the memory is released what what are all the situations that uh, dynamic lookup cache will be used we will be seeing now actually we are having uh, one uh, relational table named by employees in the oracle database i have created the employees table and this is the data available on the target table is the select uh, stop uh, this is the target table and the target table is now empty and here i am having one map which uses the lookup transformation and here we are going to see the impact of the static cache and the dynamic cache now this uh, lookup transformation uses the ordinary cache that means lookup caching enabled if you enable the lookup cache the cache is static cache that means read only cache we cannot either insert or delete the data in the cache we run this now actually first let me refresh the map okay and the data is inserted into the target now now there is one situation actually in the source data that uh, employee mr rajesh moved from the location chennai to trichy so one more uh, information is getting added to the source data actually its location uh, moved from uh, chennai to trichy here in the source data both uh, old and new data has got maintained that means its location chennai and trichy both both the uh, information is available but in the target the uh, target table is having the unique constraint so if we try to either insert or update the data we need to see how the static cache and dynamic cache is behaving here we have to delete the data from the target now the target is empty actually now we will see what will they what is the impact okay Let's let you will see. It's got succeeded. As it's got succeeded. Here, uh, the location name is Chennai, and second uh, uh, record has got inserted. But what should have happened is in source we are having the two sets of records. That is one for old one uh, and new one. That means is the location moved from Chennai to Trichy. So, the in the target our requirement is the data. the latest data should get reflected that means the location of raj should be trichy and not the chennai but we cannot insert the record why means that uh, target table is the unique constraint uh, we are having the unique constraint on the target table and employee id is the primary key so we need to 
update the information over there that we cannot do with the help of the static cache as we cannot insert or update the data in the cache so here our uh, static cache has got failed that means in this situation we cannot use the static cache here we have to move to the dynamic cache that means instead of static cache if we use the dynamic cache we have to see what is happening now I am changing in the properties I am clicking this dynamic cache just we have to check this box after that we have to make sure that insert else update this need to be checked here we are going to insert the record if it is not in found in cache and we will update it if it is available in the cache so here the target table is the lookup table we are looking up the target table okay okay and uh, here one more port called a new lookup row will be created if we are using the dynamic cache i will explain about this port new lookup row what is the purpose of it now and here uh, we need to set this e name associated expression in a uh, router we need to make some changes I will show you initially what I did is I have not explained it initially what I did is and target is empty but here I created two groups if there is no information in the target means if it is null that means employee ID is null means we need to insert it if employee ID is already available we need to update it but using that static cache we, we are not able to do that but we will see what happens in the dynamic cache here there is one more port called lookup row we will use that lookup row what is the purpose of it I will explain now I think we need to validate it. Okay. And we have to drag this port uh, to this. And uh, what we are doing is uh, um, first I will explain you about the new lookup rows. Whenever we configure the lookup transformation to use the dynamic cache the designer adds the new lookup row port to the transformation the integration service actually assigns a value to the port depending on the action it performs to the lookup cache if the, if the value is zero assigned means then integration service does not update or insert it neither update nor insert the row in the cache if the value is updated as one means then integration service inserted the row into the cache if it is two means then integration service updates the row in the cache that means the new lookup row value indicates how the integration service changes the lookup cache if it is two means it, it updated that means if one means it a uh, row is inserts into the ca cache it inserts the row into the cache and we can use the filter or router transformation and update strategy transformation to keep the target table and the lookup cache synchronized okay here we have changed it and let me will see what's happening now and we need to delete the data from the target employees okay here our uh, requirement is that location should be Trichy and not Chennai and uh, one more row will be inserted and the other one should get updated with the latest information that we will see what happen
is happening here ok I have not done this one oh, sorry I have to drag this and that is the main thing I have not done it ok <laughs> let will see what is happening ok here uh, two rows got inserted and one row is updated so we will uh, mostly we will be getting the answer right ok now the data is updated with the latest location that is Tirchi this is the main uh, uh, this is the main thing you should know about the uh, dynamic cache and uh, this is if the situation is like this then we have to go for the dynamic cache ok and uh, some other uh, scenarios you can try yourself so now the table is uh, updated with the uh, latest information so here the cache is uh, getting synchronized with the target table and the cache is getting inserted and updated thanks bye